Come on, year four, it's Thursday. You've been doing so well uh, looking at time and telling the time and answering time questions. It's really important now that when you're at home, you're looking at that analog clock and making sure that you keep practicing and keep learning how to tell that time so you get more and more accurate and you don't forget. Today, we are going, we are learning to use our times table knowledge to answer some questions. So I'm going to remind you quickly how to multiply and divide using our formal methods. Then in the link below, there's going to be some questions for you to answer. So, the first question I'm going to do is 456 multiplied by 8. So, first thing I'm going to do is 8 multiplied by 6. I know that 8 multiplied by 6 is 48. So my 8 goes underneath and my 10s go on the line. Next, I need to do 8 multiplied by 5. I know that 8 multiplied by 5 is equal to 40. So my 4 goes on the line. My 4 10s go on there. Then I've got 0 here, so I just carry my 4 down. Just like that. Then I need to do 8 multiplied by 5. And I know that 8 multiplied by 4 is 32, so 3 on the line. I've got a 4 there already, so I need to add that onto my 2 that would equal 6. And then I move my 3 down. So my answer is 3,648. As long as you follow that method when you're multiplying, you should be absolutely fine. So remember, any tens that you get go up on the line, then you add them as you move on. Right, next we're going to look at dividing. I've spaced my number out just so I've got enough room to show you. So I'm doing how many 8s are in 336, or 336 divided by 8. Now I know that I'm looking at my hundreds first. There are zero eights in three. So then I would carry that down. So now I'm looking at 33. If I'm unsure on my eight times table and I need to help, I'm going to write my eight times table down the side. So I'll have zero, eight, 16. Oops. 16, 24, 32, 40. And that's as far as we'll go at the minute because I'm running out of room. So I need to look at how many eights are in 33 first. So counting down from my zero, there's one, two, three, Four. I can't use any further than 32 because that's the, clo that's the closest multiple of 8 under 33. So 32, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 8s in 33. Then I know that there are 1 remaining from 32 to 30, 33 to 30, 32 to 33, sorry. Now I need to look at how many 8s are in 16. So there are 1, 2, 2 groups. So my answer of 336 divided by 8 is equal to 42. Next thing I'm going to look at, 784 divided by 6. So again, if I'm unsure of my 6 times table, I can write my 6 times table down the side here. First thing I'm going to look at is how many sixes are in seven. Zero, six, right, there is one six in there, group of six, and I have one left over. So now I'm looking at 18. So six, so six, 12, 18, there must be three groups in there. Now I'm looking at how many sixes are in four. Zero, six, I can't fit any sixes into four, so that's zero, and I have a remainder of four. So 
We've got 130 remainder four to answer that one. So your questions today are going to look a little bit like this. You've got a mixture of multiplication and division questions. And then further down, you've got a couple of questions that require you to think a little bit more and things like that. Enjoy it, guys. Make sure we're being active. Make sure you send in all your pictures for you and all your sports day into uh, your teachers as well. Well done, guys. See you later on.